5 Facts About Cryptocurrency versus Regular Banking Traditional banks are centralized systems, which means all transactions go through a central authority, the bank. This centralization enables banks to manage and process transactions but also creates a single point of failure. Blockchain is distinct from banking in terms of structure, ownership, integrity, regulation, and security. Blockchain technology is decentralized, transactions are processed through a distributed network of computers, or nodes, with no single entity controlling the system. Ownership in these two systems differs drastically. When you deposit money into a bank, the bank controls the account and manages your funds. With blockchain, ownership is personal and direct. You hold the private key to your digital wallet, giving you full control over your assets. In traditional banking, integrity is ensured by trusted intermediaries such as regulators, auditors, and banks themselves. Blockchain ensures every transaction is verified by the network using cryptographic techniques, and each transaction is linked to the one before it, forming an immutable, unchangeable chain. This cryptographic process makes altering any past transaction nearly impossible. This design makes it more resistant to fraud and tampering. Traditional banks are heavily regulated by government bodies such as the Federal Reserve and FDIC in the U.S. and use encryption, firewalls, and oversight to protect against fraud. Blockchain, on the other hand, operates in a largely unregulated space, though that is starting to change. While some countries have begun developing regulations for cryptocurrencies and smart contracts, the decentralized nature of blockchain makes it difficult to regulate in the same way banks are. However, blockchain is not immune to fraud. Scams like Ponzi schemes and vulnerabilities in smart contracts can still pose risks. The biggest difference is cryptocurrency does not exist in the real world no coins or bills that can be used in the transactions with someone not in the blockchain. Another issue is each cryptocurrency is tied to its specific blockchain, and cross-blockchain transactions require external mechanisms. But there are workarounds, where cryptocurrency can be transferred to a third party who will then convert the crypto into the needed instruments. For a fee of course. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.